What you're looking at right now is a single piece of sushi that's literally worth a thousand dollars and is made with the most premium seafood ingredients imported straight from Japan. And today we're going to show you what makes this sushi so special and whether or not the price tag is justified. Compared to a $50 sushi restaurant that's run entirely by robots, in a $100 sushi restaurant with some of the most premium fish at its price point, and our journey starts right here with this $1 no, yeah, this, mall sushi. Look at the color of this salmon, bro. Wait, how do you, how do you say cheers in Japanese? Come in. Wrong. It's actually this video sponsored by Squarespace. The amount of rice the fish really, I'm eating rice. Uh, like I don't really taste the fish at all. Yeah, I taste the texture of nothing. No, this is the, the worst one. There's only one piece of fish inside, and it's like a bunch of rice. Yes, yeah, so it's, 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 I'm not even kidding. It's actually not again. Like, this is not Yehege approved, bro. Yeah, they try to get you with the sauce because that's the only thing that has flavor to this. Yeah, the sauce covers the oh. meal. Excessive rice. It's what I would expect from all sushi. But I'm hungry right now, so I'll eat it. It's gonna be better sushi, right? Yes, way better sushi. And the first stop we got is Robo Sushi. Pricing is pretty average when it comes to sushi, but it's entirely run by robots. Or that's what we thought. Oh, this is gonna take us there? Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, these robots sound exactly like my Bluetooth speaker. Here is your table. Have a seat, please. Must be from the same family. We're gonna be ordering a red tuna nigiri. Um, we're gonna be ordering some black sad, uh, black dragon bowl, and we're gonna be ordering the salmon love bowl. Oh, so oh, I love both. So the robot doesn't take orders for us, right? And the staff explained to us that the robot has three main uses. Number one is to take you to your table. Number two is to deliver your food. And number three is to take over the human race. I'm gonna save you guys the trouble. This whole robo sushi thing is a marketing gimmick. But more importantly, let's see how the sushi actually tastes. So we're trying this tuna, tuna nigiri, right? Tuna sushi? Yep. Let's see how this is. First I off, like the bat, use lemon. This lemon a little bit strange, but. Cheers. 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 Not much different than mall sushi for this one. Well, no. I actually prefer mall sushi. Anyways, let's try the. Um, right. I think this is a black dragon roll. Yeah. Right? This is a black dragon roll. So, yeah, I have high hopes this. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. All right, got Black Dragon Roll. Let's try it out. Put it all in at the same time, okay? One. Not the best Black Dragon Roll I've had, but it's better than the stuff we had before. Yeah. I just feel like they're using Chinese white rice for this. I'm like, I'm not kidding. I just, it literally tastes like I'm eating like a bot fan. Presentation wise, this is definitely way Yeah, this is definitely nice. It's it's nice. It looks, looks good. Looks perspective. It looks way better. We need this piece. Right. The big tail piece. Let this better. And then the final thing we have is this. Sufishina. Whoa. This looks good. This, this looks good. good. But again, this is one of those places that feels like the presentation is trying to hide the whole thing. Yo, two. three, two, one, let's see. Right, good. It's about good. I can't justify the price difference between this one and the last one. Meaning that if I had like $10 to spend, I had justify coming here, I would just get a bunch of the mall sushi that I have it. To be honest, a little bit disappointed um, in the second restaurants. Do you like it? Matt. Nah. Now, next place we're talking about three dollars sign. Oh, three dollar yeah. sign. I think close to two times the price of what we're paying here. Damn, that better be. All right, that better be. You guys excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yes, I'm excited. Let's go. We are at our third spot right now. Tora Sushi. Oh, it's fancy. In Yorkdale, this is like this is some real shit. This is a Yo, real sushi. Wag. I just saw Wagyu. Tepeyaka. Lobster Aosi Nora Tempura. And it's, it's gonna be the biggest jump, in my opinion, between the second spot and this one. If you're taking an elevator to go up to eat sushi, you know it was expensive, man. This is gonna be, I think, in my head, the biggest jump. So we're waiting on our server, which is not a robot this time. Hey guys, welcome to Tora. It's your guys' first time here today? Yes, yes sir. For sure. So I'm gonna explain how everything works. So we are known for our futuristic approach to sushi. Uh, as you guys can see over there, there's gonna be the top and the bottom conveyor belt. Uh, it's gonna come at random whether it's the top or the bottom. As long as it stops at your table, it is gonna be for you. Okay. I'm just gonna make a few recommendations if you guys don't mind. I'd get some of that. That's what we're known for. The one right in the middle. And then you're gonna do order. We gotta get the bluefin tuna slice. A few recommendations? Bro, order the whole menu. All right, guys, this is the Mackey roll. How does this look compared to the one we got? The, the, the fish looks nicer. Same about the fish and, yeah. the, and the rice looks but better. Everything else kind of looks very similar, right? Yeah, it looks conceptually the same. Yeah, this ready? fish looks way better. Cheers, cheers. Ready? Cheers. Three, two, one. Yeah, I have this. I can taste the fish, um, but I do get your point. It's like this, you can only make something like this yeah. so good. I think you know, can only be so good in the first You cap, you cap, you cap. So let's try this. What do you say this was again? This was a, a brewery California roll. Mm. Okay, ready? Three, two, two one. 
Good. Yes. It's not a typical California roll, huh? It's a game changer. No. Mm. This is California roll with no homeless. She just laughed. Say? What do you know with no homeless people? All right. All right. Last so one. All right. What do we want to do with this one? We want to have an epic rocket. Okay. Tournament? I say. I say. I say. We do this. I say. We give one to our cameraman. Okay. Right. Five for one. And then we fight for one. All right. <laughs> down there. Okay. All right. Three-way rock paper scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? scissors. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? 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 Alright, let's go. Better, bro. Let's have this, man. Cheers, guys. Feels like somebody barbecued in my mouth. Like, so next up, we have the Ebby. Oh, man. That's so good. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. Alright, yo, I'm ready for the next one, man. Click. Oh. Dude, do you know what this is? The Demi God. <laughs> Edo Prime. Edo Prime. Yeah, Edo Prime. Oh, yeah. Edo Prime. Just to give you guys some context, Edo Prime is not a type of fish. It just refers to premium seafood that has been imported straight from Japan. Essentially, you can have Edo Prime tuna, salmon, but what we're looking at right now is scallops. This is so good. I'm trying to find like an excuse to push my mom's chili, but I can't even because I can't add on anything because it's already so good. You know what I mean? Next is flounder. Oh, yeah. Flounder is like my favorite fish. We might have traveled 40 minutes to get to this restaurant. This guy traveled thousands and thousands of miles <laughs> to arrive in our mouth. And this is the clean version of sushi. No, this is a squid. This is a squid? squid? Ooh, Iki. Three, two, one. Squid is an acquired taste. Two more, and they're the most premium sushis. Premium sushis. I want to ask you guys in the comment section well, one question is, do you eat the best thing last, or do you guys eat the best thing first? Best thing has to go first. Best for last. Best for last. Best for last. So comment down below. Oh my oh. god. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the traditional I'm tired of chopsticks now. I'm just gonna use my hand. Cheers guys, this is the first time I'm excited to have some balls in my mouth. Say it go. That's bomb. You know what it is? It's a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. The more you chew, the more it explodes, the yeah. more flavors there are, right? Mm. So next we have the thing that I'm excited for the most actually. That is, is the Unai. Unai. So excited for that. Ready, three, right. two, one. Bro, why is this so sweet? That's crazy. I, I can never have that moment in my life back three seconds ago when I just started eating it. Our last one, which is the tuna sampler, which we'll have to rock paper scissors for because I'm pretty sure everybody's eyeing the same one. one. Same, same. All right, fine. Ready? Rock paper scissors. Guys? Yo, yo, stop it. Yo, rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Yes. All right, Charlotte, me and you. All right, second place, ready? Uh huh? You ready? You ready? Yeah, ready, ready, ready. Okay, okay. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth, right? That's how all tuna should taste like. Like, it should not be anything else. Well, the... Still one more play. We still got the Wagyu caviar. <laughs> Wagyu caviar. Ooh. All right, cheers, boys. Cheers. cheers. Oh my god. I know why they put the lemon now. Acid cuts through grease, so it doesn't feel as greasy when you eat like the fat. That might be it, but you it know what? Is, dude, why are you laughing? It's true, it's true, it's true. Yo, 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 no, no, no. Now, before we get to the $1,000 sushi, we're gonna be learning a little more about how to make sushi ourselves. From our friend Jeff, who happens to own a Japanese izakaya spot. Hey guys, welcome to Yugi Izakaya. Yeah. You guys yeah. ready to make some sushi today? Yes, sir. Sure. Let's go. The most important thing, we start by washing the rice. So make sure you have cold water. So we're gonna wash like at least five to six times. I'm gonna wash it. This is how you do. Well, yeah, this is how you do just right. Just like um, make sure like everything squeeze. is like, yeah, squeezing it for each other. Man, dude, yo, yo, I'm, I know what you've been oh, doing. Oh, shit. Just, yeah, just you definitely, dude, you definitely haven't been washing rice. You've been grabbing something, bro. Who is better rice washing technique, me or him? Um, for now, him. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, well, first step is say we're gonna be cooking the rice. Oh. Make sure put the rice in the rice cooker. Hey, so just make sure the rice is flat and like the water is like even covered. Yeah, we'll cook it for like 45 minutes and that's it. So now we're gonna demonstrate how to cut the fish. So make sure check first if it's like clear, like make sure to smell it as well. There's no like bad odor, like it should be like, it smells clean. Mm. When you touch it, it should be like, um, not slimy. So what is this? What is salmon? This so salmon, salmon cut. you cut it like, you give it slit, like you want to give it like a good angle. You cut it on top and yeah. like you... You rotate yeah, the knife. Yeah, you rotate the knife. Oh, yeah. oh! So like the salmon, you can cut it thicker. When you cut it thin, it's like kind of like it's fatty, so it just melts in your mouth. So you want it thicker to like get more texture. Now we're going to make nigiri. 
just grab a rice and get like at least like 10 to 12 grams. Huh? Like, wait. Oh, yeah, how's it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so there are 10 to 15 grams. Oh, these are 40. Oh, wow, that's very impressive. Put the fish over, or put it over the fish. Like, make a shape. Oh, that's how they get it. Then after, you put a little bit of soy sauce on top. That was pretty fine. Oh my god. We're gonna all make one for you, and then you're gonna pick which is the best one. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm wet these two fingers. Before. Wait, no, you don't, we don't let those two fingers. I know, but I don't want it to be like, you know, what if these two fingers got bacteria in the time that, you know, it'll be here in the shelves? All right, one chair. Yeah, this, this, this salmon piece is moving a little. This is my eyeball at 10 to 15. You, yeah, you want to scale it? No, 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 no. No, scale it now. I mean, I'm, you, I'm, you I'm, gonna, change, yeah, I can't change it. Let's see if he's correct. 15 oh. grams. 14. Damn. You got 14.9. <laughs> That's just here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's a little bit of a green onions. Oh, fuck. No, 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 you can't do that. You can't do it Yeah, I can. I can, I can. I didn't, I didn't put my hand down. Yeah. Yeah, but. Okay, then. Oh, shoot, the tail is hard. This is actually a more difficult piece of fish to cut. Yo, wait, why is it oh, far apart? That's it, that's all. Yo, no, no, yo, no, yo, yo, no, yo, that's no, the fish's no, fault. No, no, Better, don't, yo. don't, no. This looks like a level of 12 grams. Okay. 15.5, you don't worry, you don't know, you can't see the. All right. What? Yo, you can't cheat. I'm not cheating, bro. That's totally Yo, cheating. Yo, Jeff said it would be good. And speaking of my mom's chili, here's a quick announcement from Edward. By the way, it seems like you guys really love my mom's chili because we sold it in just four days over Black Friday weekend. That's incredible. Thank you guys so much for the support, and we'll keep you updated when we restock. Now back to the video. That's totally cheating. Yo, he needs that, bro. There we go. All right, All right. done, nice. Sean, if you were a little nicer to me during my round, maybe I'll be a little nicer to you. Dude, and you implanted your fingerprints into the sushi as of his face, I like finger ID, bro. Dude, dude, dude that, yo, that, that's looking like an 18 gram ball. There. We, we just lost all our Japanese subscribers. 14 grams, but why is it? 8.9. Okay, oh, why is it the shape shot? Yo, yo, why is it so? <laughs> yo, yo, you know what this looks like? This looks like this looks like me trying to move my mattress. <laughs> Look at that. 14.1. Oh, in the perfect shape. You guys are acting like this is not his restaurant. Oh, he's oh. and the mom's chili! Oh, no That's way. cheating! All right, let's go. Let's call the chef out. So the cut of fish, um, everything is like pretty good. This one, this one, and this one, aside from this one. This is like the, the worst. The worst. Uh, I mean, like it's okay, but it's like kind of like not balanced. Uh, but what, how would you rank it? Like what would it be the best? This one's the first. I like this one the second, third. So now we're doing, we're going to be doing like taste check. Yo, it's intense. Yeah, it's it's the most intense. I'll say 7 out of 10. Okay. Offset. This one's next. Uh, this one's the fish is like a little bit a little bit thick, but like it's on the borderline. So it's like, it's good. It's 8 out of 10. Oh, With the chili sauce, it's like 10 out of 10. Ooh, what? It's good. Chili sauce is good. What? This one's like good, like texture wise. So I'll say like it's 8.5 8 out of 10. Last one. Yeah, last one's good. There's wasabi, but like it's just like the fish is like. A little bit too thin, so I'll say like it's six out of ten. But like taste. Wow. All right, we'll reveal to you who did what. Okay. Yeah. This one. I can was guess. it six out of ten? Who? Who do you think did six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. This yeah. seven. Okay. Like, I think it's you. Like oh, because, right, because, right, of, right, because right. of the cut of fish. Yeah. How about this one? Eight. It's, it's either somebody you've never met and your boss. So I guess like this one is sick yours. Yeah. yeah. And then the best one. Yeah. The best one. Oh! Awesome. Oh! Oh, you got it right! John, you are keeping your job today. Just like how we're keeping our sponsor for this week's video, Squarespace. At Cantamendo, we're huge fans of Squarespace because you can make beautiful websites without breaking the bank. And it's super simple to use. For example, let's say you want to make a website for your own product, like how I made one for our product, My Mom's Chili. Just start by picking your template, adding your products and pictures, and boom! You have your own beautiful website for your amazing product. So now that you've got your online store, you'll need a way to communicate with your audience for important news and events. That's why there's Squarespace's email campaigns feature. You can introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails and updates, and also keep track of all the analytics on your backend. And now to really build that community, 
You can even use Squarespace to engage with your audience. For example, you can make a blog page where you can chat with your amazing fans and keep them up to date on everything new. From building your website to everything after, Squarespace has got you covered. The best part is that Squarespace is absolutely free to try for two weeks. And you also save 10% off on your subscription if you continue using it after your trial. So go make that dream come true and create your website with Squarespace. Just use your link in the description box below to get started on your free trial. All right, now let's see if this $1,000 sushi is actually worth it. My name is uh, Ryusuke Nakagawa, executive chef of Abrihana. I'm making the Kaisek cuisine. Yeah, Kaisek cuisine is a Japanese core style meal, very behind the story and very seasonal. If su just sushi restaurant is using the abalone, it's a very fresh, it's a cutting or just steam. But today using the awabi sushi, is a so many process. It's a steam, uh, dashi simmered, after a charcoal grill, and after cutting, and rice is a, no just rice. Example is the awabi liver using the, this mix is a very strong the umami, very infused the Japanese culture, infused a very special sushi. Wow, it's a from cool. Japan. Biggest abalone I've ever seen. Yeah. The biggest abalone yeah, I've ever seen. So big. And this is the main component of the dish. And to get an abalone this size and of this quality, it had to be imported straight from Japan. I'm guessing one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred. That's correct. Wow. <laughs> and with something this expensive, it had to be cleaned very carefully. Because of too much stress in the abalone. Okay. Very weird is that this too much stress in the abalone after the very heavy taste. So after the abalone is cleaned, it's put into a bag along with kelp, sake, and radish, and steamed for about five hours at a low temperature to give it the perfect texture. Can I drink the water? Sorry? Can you drink, can you yeah. drink it? Uh, yeah, I'll put salt. Can yeah. okay. you take a shot? Yeah. Wait, you take one with us, right? All right. You take one with us. Why is it only three? Yeah. It's only three. Four. Okay. Four. Four. <laughs> I'm usually drinking. Kanpai. 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 Let me see. I like wow. it. Wow, you like? Yeah. <laughs> so after about a few hours, the abalone was finally ready for the next step. What, what is that? Yeah. Oh, this one? Is that liver? Oh. Liver. The abalone had to be cooked for another two hours on a very low temperature in a mixture containing salt and soy sauce to add more depth to the flavor. Everything is calculated down to like the So what are they gonna like? So what are they gonna like? Crazy, crazy experience. After another two hours of cooking the abalone, the chef removed the liver and infused it with the rice. Fused into the rice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the rice is the quality and uh, this how to cooking is very important. Of course, it's the one more uh, important is the. Uh, together eating the seafood is of course quality and how to age, how to cutting. The two of them are very important. Now before plating, the chef decided to grill the abalone over some wagyu fat to give it a little more texture and flavor. And then it was finally time to plate. This is it, this is an important cut. Wow. What? Wow, wow that's expert cutting skills. Oh my God. I that was, it was a, Yeah, that was a- Yeah, yeah, yeah you had me fooled. Wow. Yeah. That is, that way the soy sauce stays, sticks in the side. Yeah, after, and also, it's a, more and more is a very high class is a Japanese seafood. It's a uni, the seuchi. Uh, plating the together is a abalone and uni. It's a very strong is a seafood umami flavor. Is a sushi. Okay, this one that is from Hokkaido uni. Yeah, wow. I, yeah. Not. Oh my. Wow. It looks very small. Yeah, very, very delicate. delicate. Yeah. Cute. So delicate. Cute. Right? Yeah, very cute. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess 100. You I'm gonna guess uh, two, one, uh, 175? I'm gonna guess like one, one, 150. 150? This one? 250. What? With the one layer. Right. And then the sushi lies in the making. Oh my god. Holy. And next is a awabi. Awabi. Uh, oh, I'm first time. Today, uh, this whole awabi is a one plate with the fridge. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Usually, of course, yeah, yeah. Amazing, yeah. Okay. You need 15 guests. Uh, yeah. yeah, here. Wow. Then she's a flower. Kelp. Kelp. So many times they're using the kelp. Yeah. And of course, nice say again, it's a, a, a baroni. It's a, usually they're eating the kelp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then to get a nice combination. 
I'm gonna, I'm sorry, they know this is not a show, but I'm just gonna clap <laughs> because I think this is. And get on. Uh, we waited, we waited. Yeah, we gotta try it first. Yes. Finally, the Vinny. Oh, wow. wow. Thank you for waiting. No problem. <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't want to ruin the uni. Oh, it's a niceness. Uni is a process. Oh, nice. Very nice fun. Oh, so good. Got, got it. Come by, come by, come by. Oh, my. Mm. Yeah, best sushi you ever had, huh? Very soft. Yeah, but what, what, the charcoal taste is like infused. There was a um, 100 taste in here. <laughs> I tasted this the flour, then I tasted the charcoal. Second step. Second step, okay. So many steps. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're not <laughs> eating, we're tasting. Yeah. I'm still trying to process oh, what. Nice. I just tr I'm trying to process what just happened, like what I just ate. Come by. I got come by. <laughs> come by. Shove them in my mouth. <laughs> Sean's face. <laughs> You're so happy. <laughs> Finally, the uni using. Oh my yeah. god. It's I'm I mixing. Okay. Okay. Oh, he mixes it. Yeah. Oh, you mix the uni. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh my god, that's gonna be so rich. <laughs> Come back. Final Finally. one. Finally. Uh, <laughs> Finally. Cheers. Okay, that's okay. it. Shall we just shove it, I guess? And I'm not gonna swallow. <laughs> <laughs> it's Save it. The uni is like. It smells so creamy. It's so... I've never seen the uni that sorry. I think they're different. They're in California, no, the Vancouver, the yeah. uni, they're very different. Of course, they're yeah. fine, but the quality is very different. Yeah. This probably alone was like $100. <laughs> Thank, Thank, you. So Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Oh my god, yo, this is great. Okay. You guys enjoy watching today's video, then just click over here or click over here. I have no words to say right now. So.